All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're in episode number 27 for today, and we're sitting at 1815, which is only 60 points away from SSL. If we win all the games, we only have to do about seven to eight games here. So with that final push to SSL, it's going to be really difficult because a lot of players are going to be pushing for that SSL rank as well. So there's going to be a lot of sweaty matches. Hope you guys enjoy. But of course, before we do, we have to do the meme of the day. And we've got Timius with Sunless Pawn. Let's get right into it. Okay, so we got a photo of Sunless Khan here and we've got Magnus Carlsen. I'm going to try and place Sunless Khan over that, but he's holding a king, not a pawn. And I think I want to switch it out. So I've got a picture of a pawn here. I'm going to have to place this. Let's get this in place first and see how that looks. All right, decent. I got to keep it pretty big because... I'm not going to be able to cover the entire thing. If I do like this, and then I clean up the other piece behind. I mean, that'll probably do. Let's see if I put the pawn back. Yeah, it looks like it's just his finger. Let me just do that. There we go. Looking pretty good. Let's get the... Uh Let's get the color to match the pieces on the board, though. I'd say that's pretty good so far. Now we got Sunless here. This will be a little more difficult because I think Magnus's beard and his head shape is a little different uh, to Sunless. So I'm going to see what I can do, but it's not going to be great. That should be good enough, I think. And now we can place Sunless's head here. Uh, it's not the greatest, but it looks okay. All right, it's looking pretty good. I think I want to add one more thing to the top left here because there's a lot of empty space. And there we have it, Sunless Pond. Hope you guys enjoy this one. All right, game number one. We got a pretty low lobby, uh, lobby, <laughs> lobby, nice, uh, compared to our, our rank. But we got a uh, 1785 on the other team, so still pretty high. I'll grab the, the corner here. And immediately what I want to do is pop this into the ceiling like this so my teammate can go for a shot. He ends up misreading it. I'm going to actually go for this because it ends up popping back to me better than the opponent. Do you clear the ball here? He goes for the immediate touch. My teammate should have a free ball here as long as he doesn't cut it too early. Good touch. Oh, wait, mid here. He's going to go for a solo, maybe a flick. Nice flick to the top corner. Wow, what a shot. Really good play. So, yeah, a de decent level lobby, but we're sitting at like about 100 points almost above my teammate. But either way, you're going to get a lot of mechanical players all at all these ranks here. This guy goes for the back corner. He would beat me, but he'd be really out of position. He's start with the, the musty. It's going to be. The opponent with a touch. This is going to bounce back to mid here, and I'm going to try and stay with this. Try to bump this guy. I was trying to uh, get a demo or something. Teammate should make a touch here. Good touch. I'm trying to touch off the corner and then follow it immediately. But I do get bumped, though. Go for 50 again. Good patience for my teammate. I can go for this. I'm trying to keep it close here. Oh, didn't mean to jump, but my teammate should have this for free, so it's going to be no problem. Grab boost powder, too. We don't need to go all the way back here. I'm going to make him have to go for the touch here really close. I'm just trying to force something. There we go. You can make the, the easy mistake of going all the way back there, but sometimes you just want to make sure you're really close to that player so they don't have a lot of room to push on the field. So maybe over Andy here. It's on target. Oh, close. Oh, we really should have went for that, but that's okay, though. To be his now. And now Andy's going to be going for an early challenge, but the other player is still recovering. Not quite on target. Pretty close, though. Good chance. Still got lots of space, lots of pressure here. What I'm going to try and do is force this to the side where they can't clear it. My teammate might be able to get a shot here. Great save. I'm going to fake this and then go for the, the corner boost. I ended up getting demoed, but I definitely could have made that a uh, little better for myself there. Teammate should challenge this. Even if he gets beat, it's no problem because I'm there. And because, because he goes early enough, I can react to it. I'm going to pop this once around my t uh, the opponent. Even though he gets the demo, it's no problem. It's going to go to the sidewall. To my team on the floor here. You got to clear. Good touch. See if he makes the follow-up. He ends up leaving. I'm just going to put it to the left side. It's not a great shot. I can't go for this back corner in time. I got to go back as soon as possible. Because I could shoot it towards net. Decent play. Nice bump. I'm going to pop this around. I can't shoot that towards target because if I do, um, they're going to get a touch. The way that they're challenging that super early. This guy likes to go for demos a lot. I'm noticing that. Like, that position I don't feel like would be the wisest to go for demos because my teammates still got possession, but he goes for it anyway. So I didn't really expect that. I should definitely be aware, though. You got a decent touch. They start the flip reset super far away from the net, and that's a big mistake that I see a lot of, uh, like, lower-ranked players make is they have the mechanics to do the flip reset. I took my teammate's boost there because I thought he was going for mid there. They go for a flip reset, but it's way too uh, close to the... or way too far from the net. So they don't ma actually make anything happen because they get the flip reset when it's like miles away. Now they go for an early touch here. They might go for another shot, which is fine. Might bounce off. I get an awkward touch. Oh, it's going to be in the net here. It's fine. Once again, just doing a quick recovery. I'm trying to stay close to this because they're going to early challenge. 
Nothing too stressful so far. Like they got decent pressure, but they're not really like putting a lot of threat threatening shots here. He might pass this across. Reading that as soon as possible. This boost should hopefully spawn. He might have take taken it, but I thought I got it earlier. This guy's up super early, so I'm just gonna pop it around. He actually ends up faking the uh, the jump. We're just playing around our teammate. Made some pretty good uh, decisions so far. He's not going, so we're just put it in the back corner and then try to get a double here. I get it around the one player. We have five saves. We're under a lot of pressure in this game, but like I said, their, th their shots aren't that threatening. I really should have just grabbed that boost. I thought my team was going to recover faster than that. I'm going to go for him. It's not fast, but I don't know if we can get around it. He does get around it. I'm going to bump him. Now, the reason why I demoed him there, I didn't look like I was fast enough, is because I went on the flip. The flip can actually give you a lot more speed. <laughs> it's all going to go back out here. They end up missing, so I'm not going to touch the ball right now. I'm going to go for the boost instead. And if this guy goes for it, it's no problem. Like They're really close to the to the wall. So he goes for that. I get a save somehow. It says epic save. Did he really get that on target? I don't think he did, but either way. It's going to be really awkward for them. I'm going to go for it, force. Get my teammate to wait to see what uh, Maestro is going to do there. Did he touch it? Pop over the one. Maestro's going again. No problem. I'm dead. Good save for my teammate. He's got it. Didn't think he was going to push up. But that was really smart for him. Okay, they do throw it pretty far. Just back off. So make sure I play it patiently here. Pop it over the two. Like, I know that he has to make a challenge, so he's going to stay with that. So all I do is just wait for him. I could leave that down, but, you know, that's not that's not fun. Oh, uh, they do miss off the backboard, and there we go. It's a pretty good first game. Definitely a little bit sweatier than the normal 1700 games that I was getting, so pretty good players there, but nothing too crazy. Like I said, they weren't causing a lot of good offense. They were just pushing the ball as fast as possible, and the only goal that happened was that flip reset, so decent game, but they had a lot more pressure than we did. We, they had 12 shots, and we had 8 shots. Still back and forth a little bit, but they definitely were uh, pushing way harder on offense. All right, game number two, we got Accolade on our team against uh, Nico and Murky. So they're teamed up here. They might be in comms. Who knows? And you can definitely tell when certain players are in comms because of the way they play. Um, like certain fakes and stuff. This could be really dangerous if he doesn't get a touch. He, he does get a touch though across. And I'm going to let him go for this. He gets demoed for going up. Now you can see I'm not playing too close. I'm trying to stay. I'm still trying to. I'm going to let him touch this as well. Oh, he ends up missing. Um, I'm trying to play like in a spot where if they get a really high clear, we're still in a good spot. That's good to the back corner. I don't know if my teammate has a lot of boost. He does get some boost pads. I know that because I took that back corner. I wasn't going to be in a, a great situation. Oh, should be open for my teammate. Great finish. Yeah, because he, he led the, ba the ball to the back corner. But the second that he sees me following that back corner, because I can start to play really fast, he could have went for that back right instead. But he pushed around the ball as well. So um, he's going to be pretty low. But he obviously still had enough boost to make it happen. He's playing really slow there. But once again, I'm going to try and cut this in. I could have taken it back. But he was on the way to demo me here. This is, this is rolling up the wall. It's no problem. I don't even think that was in, but he does go for it. Go for the high touch. Do bump him a little bit. Actually, he could have went for the half volley shot there or touch. He does get around the player. I did not expect that. I'm going to wait here. I'm going to go back. The mid boost should be there for my teammate. Let's see what Murky does with this. No problem. I'll try and lead this off the, wall, the back wall as fast as possible. That way it pushes forward. And if he even touches this, no problem again. Over one. Oh, my teammate's underneath me. I'm going to try and pop, pop this back and get the boost. Okay, my teammate gets the boost instead, but he gets bumped, so it's going to be pretty bad. I do jump in time. That's going to be a goal anyway. So my teammate definitely should not be pushing up underneath the ball like that when I'm already chasing it down the field. And then he took the boost as well and got bumped. So both situations are not great. Um, if you're going to get the boost there, you got to make sure you don't um, don't get bumped. You got you to go as soon as possible. Good challenge for my teammate. I stay close to this. He does get the shot. Nice play. He definitely took the ball from me a little bit, but at the same at the same point, like I didn't really get a good control touch there. I popped it forward. He's saying I, I got all yours, so I'm going to do a front flip like this a little bit forward and then see what they do. Now, he ended up backing off immediately. I could have maybe passed that across. We get a decent save. There's no real need to jump for that. I got 12 boosts. I'm going to pop it around. I don't really have the ability to really get a good shot on. Okay. I'll go for the mid boost. I'm going to fake him here and then try to stay with this. 
Decent. Oh, he fakes it. No problem. Might be another challenge here. Pop off the back wall. No problem again. Round one. Should be accolade to maybe finish. Said all yours. Oh. That's no problem. Once again, they people like make really heavy touches really early here. A lot of time where they just... Oh. That's me panicking. Oh, unfortunate. People make really heavy touches. They don't know how to control the ball uh, to like keep the air dribble close. They always pop it really far and they end up just catching the ball. Uh, or not catching the ball. They end up booming the ball off their, their car. See if he makes a touch here. He doesn't make a touch. So right here, the way you want to keep the ball close just by air rolling a little bit. And the way that I make that 50 is going to be in a good spot for my teammate. He ends up faking it, but definitely could have just made, made the initial play. Because that just slows the ball down. See what he makes it past middle here. Now pop this up really high and make sure it bounces nicely for me. Get a double 50, and we get the finish. So decent, decent attempts for my teammate. I've definitely played with this guy before at higher rank. I'm not sure why. He's always been like around 1700 for the longest time. So let's just balance back and forth. Okay. This guy likes to just take the ball right away from me. I'm going to go early here. This guy probably doesn't expect that. It's towards that, but I know it's not going to be a goal. I'm just trying to get back. Teammate also goes, so I'm just going to wait here for a little bit. Might go for an early flick. It's a decent flick, but it's going to be over. I, I made sure to block all, all options there. I pop it forward. I'm going to fake this. Yeet. I'm going to fake him here. That's decent. I can get off the wall and jump. The way that I grab grab the wall there uh, is with a, a power slide. Over one. My teammate goes. Can be really bad. Very aggressive player. Got a full reset here. Do get the save off the side. Get the boost. It's no problem. My teammate should be back. Decent save. Waiting for him to maybe bite on that. There we go. It's a cross. There was nobody in net because uh, Ackley went for the demo. Definitely not the, the most comfortable game, but not too bad. The opponents haven't really made good chances. They've, they've definitely pushed on a lot of a lot of the opportunities, but definitely overcommitting a lot of things. That's the second time Accolades got caught off guard by that. I should be expecting that instead of going for the corner boost steal. Just stay stay close with this. He's gonna go for an early challenge here. I know that Nick uh, Nico was gonna cut in there. Okay, I'm getting a little irritated. <laughs> I get bumped here. Yeah. I'm getting a little annoyed by by like my my teammates aggressiveness and also just like really wacky positioning like I'm I'm pulling back there for the boost that's the second time like he 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 went for the boost grab the first time and then backed off that time he went for it full force sort of like just no off switch sort of like this just gonna go in no off switch there it is oh good patience from from Nico there I'm gonna take the boost from him no problem once again full turn he's right there I respect it. But I would say it's not the greatest to always do that. He was ready for it again. I'm just going to end up killing it here. But yeah, that was definitely an interesting game. He's just very aggressive. No no off switch. I think that's never good to just do that because it's, it's very readable uh, from the other side. As long as you know how to deal with it. But we got the exact same lobby against us. We got Lodi Cat, who's 1888. So this guy is SSL. I, I think we've played with him before. I think he was in the last episode. We pop it across. I'm going to the boost here. I'm just going to pop it once. They're going to be both very low. I'm going to pop this to the left a little bit. Kimmy doesn't go for it, so I'm just going to stay close. Decent try. My teammate should still have space here. And I still have 54 boost. No no real overcommit. Decent 50. He should probably be able to take that corner boost. Now we're going to start a starve. Oh, that's a pop on both. What a turn. Okay, that's totally fine because they're going to be like overcommitting on this this pop here. So I do I do make a mistake. I should have just went off the, off the wall immediately. I got the back corner boost. I knew exactly what he was going to do. He was going to pop off the wall and then go mid, but... I should have went off the ground because I thought I could have maybe caught it off the wall faster, but it's all good. End up missing. Good save. The pop forward. It's just in. <laughs> I thought it was maybe backboard, but it was just super early boom. They, they were definitely way over aggressive on this turn right here. Murky 
was not in a good position. I'm gonna go back left here. My teammate says need boost. He does. He does actually do the full back boost rotation. A lot of players nowadays they don't they don't go for it. This guy's totally missing this. I do miss the shot though. Oh my gosh. Once again, early aggression. A lot of players at this rank, they're just very aggressive. I'm going to make sure I cut the time where my teammate can go for the touch. Doesn't make a great touch, so I'm going to turn on this. He ends up missing as well. Just over aggression from everybody. Go for a 50 here. Should my teammate now? I can go for a bump. I could have maybe went for that bump a little bit earlier, but it's no big deal. Off the wall. Go for a shot off the wall. To be awkward. Good follow up from my teammate. I should have went that far post. That would have been better. My teammate's going to go for that back corner. So I'm just going to go for the right side. Give him a lot of space to work with. And what I did there was I went for a fake jump. Because it ends up uh, faking out Murky. Because if I jump early, he's not going to go for it. He's waiting right here to go for that challenge. Side flip to the side, and then I go for the shot far left. He's not going to be expecting that because he's trying to go for that fake. Uh... Oh, what the heck? This man is an arsenal, man. Oh, okay, we're good. That's not how you do that fake kickoff anyway. He did not half flip fast enough to get to the, the spot. Uh-oh. That's going to be a goal. Did not expect that pop off the, <laughs> off the corner <laughs> or the back wall. Definitely not great. If he plays it off the corner, it would have been perfectly in mid there. But he hits it off the back wall while I'm still forward. It doesn't even matter if I'm going for that like over-aggressive play because the touch was just really poor. I would have been back in time. Ends up faking that. I shouldn't have went for it. Oh, that's a bump. Look at this. This is amazing. Off the wall here should be my teammates. Ends up being really patient. He could have pushed that far left for me. He's trying to set up like some sort of solo play. This guy likes to dribble or make like an air dribble play on his own. Go for the boost. I don't care about the ball right now. Still don't care about the ball. Good challenge. Oh. What the heck? Murky, your teammate's like in a 1v1. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to fake this. I don't want to go for this. Nah, I can go for this. Oh, never mind. And he goes for bump again. But Lodi catch to have this. This is so awkward. Like, none of this gameplay is really, like, that efficient. Pop off is above Murky. He might cut it off, but he ends up missing. We can go back right here. If he turns on it. Off the wall. He's not going to have a read here. Let's go for the far left shot. There's so much space. They weren't defending very well. I can just pop that really high because Murky's sitting on the ground. And he can't get up the wall fast enough because he's not up the wall halfway. When I, know, when I see someone on the ground, I know that the top half of the backboard is pretty much free real estate. And I can go for like an open shot. As long as I'm pretty good at reading the double taps. And you can do that in free play a lot. Just go for the, the double tap reads over and over and over again. What I would do is just pop the ball off that, that middle spawn with a jump at the very middle, like bottom of the ball. And then just try to read those. And then you can go higher and higher with it. Um, some of the... Oh, okay, he's not going. The way that I clear that is do an air roll. My teammate goes for it. He actually gets a touch. But it's going to be Murky's here for free. And my teammate's going to be very low because he just spawned. So I'm just going to fake this early. Stay close. This is no problem. Like these little touches I do not care about. It's never it's never an issue when players do that. Because it just goes back to us in a situation where they're very low. Go for a shot just to force him to catch it. Take their boost. That was really good. So it gives me lots of space. I don't need to turn this in right away. I can go for a setup here. Let's get a save. Should lead over to my teammate though. He's a bit far, but he does get to it. They fall out pretty decently. Murky's going for some sort of... I'm not sure what he's going for, <laughs> to be honest. But, oh, that's unfortunate. I'm going to make a pop here. I shouldn't go for a 50 there as last man. Just with the bump. But my teammate should be there, hopefully. Oh, they go for the low shot. Definitely awkward. I would say that that was my bad going for that 50, though. Because they're just going to they ram that ball into the wall. There's no reason for me to even go for that. They're not in a good position at all to go for a, a touch. The team was getting the back corner boost. I'm not sure what he was do up to because he was sitting really far back. 
He got the wait, he got the back left and then went for the back right. <laughs> How is this a goal? Okay, it's not a goal. So my teammate off the kickoff went for back left and then went across the entire field to go for the uh, the back right. Over one, so we staying with this. Once again, don't care about these these touches. They're never good to make. On um, as the defense. Because it's just gonna go right back to them. Big miss for my teammate. I gotta be, have to be really patient here. Make sure they don't go for like some sort of shot. They end up missing. Stay close to this. It's gonna be down, maybe. Decent block. Hop it towards the net, and we get the finish. So definitely a decent little play there to finish it off. I mean, it definitely didn't need to happen. We could have just popped that to the ground anywhere. It would have been on the ground, I think. Almost had you there. <laughs> well, either way, it was a good game. Uh, I would say Lodi Cat was a little awkward in some places. I was definitely not playing around him very well. But either way, it was a pretty decent game. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's definitely an interesting one. Like I said, we got 40, 1840, so we're only 35 points away. I'm thinking we're probably at the last episode or two. We'll see if we win all of our games in the next one. If, if we do, we might do a longer series to get that final jump to SSL. But until next time, have a great day, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.